hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing pineapple ginger chicken it is a baked uh, chicken with a nice pineapple ginger sauce the sauce is very very easy and even though this is so easy it comes out really nice and delicious really good for dinner time i'm really hoping you guys will like the recipe take a look at that deliciousness yes all right let's get cooking all right guys so i have a uh, chicken leg and thighs that i've seasoned overnight i put a little green seasoning some all-purpose seasoning and black pepper some soy sauce the ingredients will be in the description box and I have this baking tray that I lined with foil and I brushed on a little bit of olive oil on there. So we're gonna be putting the chicken in the oven. All right, let's get into this pineapple ginger sauce. I'm putting in some pineapple juice, and then I have some diced pineapples that I'm gonna add as well. You can use the canned ones, but I have some fresh pineapples that I diced. And then I'm going in with some brown sugar. All right, there goes the ginger. And the vinegar you can use whatever vinegar you have I had some red wine vinegar so that's what I was using and I just added some salt and pepper so just stir it around over the heat with this sauce guys you're just gonna let the um, all the ingredients come together and let it simmer and then once it um, simmers over time then we'll just add in some other ingredients All right, so we want the sauce to be a little bit thicker, right? So I have some cornstarch that I mixed with cool water, of course, check the recipe. And that we're gonna be stirring it in, but we have to stir it fast. The reason we have to do this, guys, is because it'll start to lump up because of the starch. So just keep stirring it real fast. You might need some of it, you might need all of it. Just to watch the sauce. Once it starts to get nice and thick, you'll see, okay, this is enough or do I need to make some more or add some more so just keep stirring that to avoid any lumps and then we're gonna let the sauce simmer again all right so it reduced a bit so I just add a little bit of honey and I also want the sauce to be just a tad bit darker so I'm going in with some molasses I don't want it to be too dark because I'm not doing like a Jamaican style big chicken or jerk chicken so I don't want it to be too dark I want it to look different all right so once that sauce gets nicely reduced and a little bit thicker we're just gonna turn off the heat and reserve it for when we're gonna be basting the chicken later all right so chicken is out of the oven and we're just gonna flip it over because you know you're not gonna be serving it um, with the underside showing right so you flip it over and then once we flip over all these pieces we are going to be putting on some sauce on there. All right, so once you've sauced the bottom, of each piece of chicken you're just going to flip those over 
you just want it to make sure that you know some sauce is underneath you want to get the flavor all throughout so we put the sauce on there flip it over and then we are going to put some more sauce on top And guys, listen, you can do it your way. You can use a spoon, you can use a brush, you can dip the chicken in the sauce, whatever you prefer. Just make sure you're adding the layers of sauce and pour the pineapples in there as well. And then these are going to go in the oven. Once they come out of the oven, again, check the recipe in the description box. You're going to be basting them with the sauce again. Then we put it back in the oven. Yes guys, so this is the last round of the basting for the chicken. So after this, you're gonna put it in the oven and once it's finished, you're gonna get this beautiful, beautiful chicken right here. Oh my gosh, look at that. It is so, so tasty. Can't wait for you to try it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. See you later.